Uh, so we're back. It's me playing this time. And it's Christmas, and we're going to go break into a library. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> There's Lion in with a sick Ari. bong. Come on, you said Can't we wait 30 goddamn out. seconds. I, I already started. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, Tyler, you did bring up an excellent point. If it's powerful dark magic that should not be taught at Hogwarts, <laughs> why not put it in, in, in a different room? It's like a Hogwarts library or something. Like a different library. Like why does it have to be in Hogwarts? It's behind a gate. But you know what is a spell they literally teach in first years? Is the unlocked door spell. <laughs> okay, I, it's the equivalent of fucking you. You like went to high school at the, or like university at this big prestigious no, not even university like middle school at this big prestigious middle school, mm -hmm. and they just had a gun collection that only the teachers were allowed to have. But they have a gun collection there for some. But it's not even like for locked, some reason behind like a glass case. They've got like loaded bazookas in there. <laughs> yeah, they're like they for class number one. All right, all right, kids. Uh, let's teach you how to break a lockpick with extreme efficiency. Yeah, they're obviously going to get into the gun collection. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You just about got me, but I was too fast. So why are you not allowed in that room? What's, our, what's up with that room? Also, Mason, can you t okay? Can you, there is another. I was gonna ask you to take a look around for another entrance to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> is there? Oh, there is. Yeah, there is this big set of doors. <laughs> Could you imagine if that was the, the only way into this bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> you have to fucking climb through. Percy, I have to pee. Now, get back to your room. <laughs> I'm gonna lift you up by your ankles, you you squirt. Percy, if you don't let me pee, I'm gonna feel <laughs> like hold up, hold up. Let, me, let me grab a wand so I can brandish things. No commotor mortis. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh no, my water! I spilled it on the ground! <laughs> oh fuck, I need a towel. <laughs> Jesus oh, my. Christ. Why did you just throw a chocolate like, towel? I spilled my Why water. Why did you go in there if you're not gonna buy anything? I wanted to see if there's anything new. Locomotor Mortis! Oh my God, it's homing? What the hell? Oh my god, my carpet is so wet. <laughs> you gotta cut this from the video, this is too embarrassing to show. I'm gonna show every second of this. That's fair. Hey! Hey! Come here! No. Oh. You can't get me, I touched the door, I'm safe. <laughs> oh, that. That is the rule, so I guess I'll stop chasing you now. It's like little kids when they play grounders. I was T! <laughs> T! T! I was T! You didn't see it, but I did the T. <sighs> Here's a little life hack for you guys. Screw your water bottle lid on if you don't want it spilling all over your carpet. <laughs> Anyways, I grabbed a wand so I can now brandish it when I pretend to be a wizard. Oh, no. Lennon throws can. the wand across the room. Can't even see it. <laughs> well, they'll, they can hear it in my voice. You know, the fans. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been a fan of Harry Potter since I was a little kid. That guy, he got a wand. No, not the fans of Harry Potter, the fans of the prop ad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's no fans of Harry Potter here, it's just fans of me. Holy shit, Ron just teleported. Like, I don't want to appeal to even one Harry Potter fan. <laughs> the only people I want to appeal to are the diehard, dedicated, the prop hat fans. You'll be able to go in the restricted section without being seen. I'll meet you in the common room later. I should hold the wand like Ron yeah. is, <laughs> with, with my with a fist, with my fingers still spread apart. There not be anybody in there. You're invisible. Who's gonna be able to see you? No. He can walk into you though. You? No, you don't. He walked into you, Mason. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. 
<laughs> the only way you could possibly be caught. <laughs> and you just sit there letting it happen. <laughs> <laughs> You're hearing like the foot, the footsteps on fucking linoleum. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're wearing flip flops, so it's like. <laughs> okay, apparently that's not the way I want to go. There better not be anybody to, in there. Forbidden. Hmm. That's just the right Sure, I heard someone sneaking around here. I should be able to learn the eat slug spell Ron casts on himself. <laughs> Why don't they ever use that again in any Harry Potter situation? Also, he doesn't even say the name of the spell, he just goes, eat slugs! I think that is the spell. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot, of them are, a lot of them are fancy Latin. It's not, that spell was invented in uh, Tennessee. What was that? <laughs> I genuinely don't actually know where I'm supposed to go. I think probably where that guy that is like... Oh, I think you could break that pot. I think... What if you Shoot. walk near that guy Shoot and you get him to chase you? Shoot him with your spell. What was that? Your most magic wand. Go... Uh... What, what do you say? Nintendo! Nintendo! You like scream it. <laughs> Nintendo! Someone <laughs> here? Oh. <laughs> Nintendo! What was that noise? Uh, see, there you go. See, then he's walking away. You have to fucking Metal Gear Solid throw a rock to distract them. <laughs> you have a soup can? <laughs> Who's there? Get punk nerd. Locomotor Mortis! You're already walking now, through now the door. No, I'm touching the door. I'm touching the door. It doesn't matter. Hey, you! <laughs> he's still mad on the other side of the door. Casting. Hey! Hey, yeah. you! It's not He's my jurisdiction. The door. <laughs> That's the wrong spell. <laughs> There's someone round here. Tyler, I hate you so much because now I cannot hear Nintendo. Nintendo! <laughs> sure, I heard someone sneaking around here. What was that noise? It's it's funny because so I fucking played this game up. Or not this game, but I played the hey, second game, which is exactly this game, hey, a you. million times. Never once did I ever hear Nintendo until that one, that one time. And now I can't not hear <laughs> no. <that. laughs> Nintendo! Okay, also, a big Nintendo you know what seems like a fucking cheap out? The fact that just students have to roam the halls at night making sure that <laughs> students aren't roaming the halls at night. <laughs> Well, the gym. Yeah, why do these guys sleep? How else are they gonna teach? Yeah, but he, and these here's the thing: sleep. prefects are like the students with good grades. <laughs> they have to have good grades and then also That's stay awful. up all night, like roaming punishment. the halls. <laughs> that seems like then you can't give it to the bad students because if I if I was like as punishment had to do like halls hall, hall monitor my, my and like I saw some kids doing some nasty shit, I'd be like. Landon. It's not my fucking problem. Those are the get candies. <laughs> no, those are the give candies. <laughs> they oh, you're a give candy? Um, looks like oh, you're on prefect so night duty, actually. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! Again, I've literally <laughs> only done night duty. Yeah, well, maybe if you were a get candy. Liver? <laughs> Ooh, it looks like you're also on dish duty. Ooh. What? I've I've literally seen dishes wash themselves by magic. You're telling me I have to wash them by hand? Ah, it's kinda shit. better if you do it. To be I don't honest. know what I'm telling you here. I'm looking at my list and it says dish duty. It's not up to me, buddy. It's, and then it, it's on there's the your name, it's man. I like I. I, I could talk to the guy who makes the list, but Dumbledore is a busy man and I'm so goddamn prejudiced to us fucking give candies, dude. Do you know what how much we like run this goddamn school? None of this shit would be possible without us I, give candies. I'm gonna let you in on a little me? secret. I used to be a give candy. <laughs> but now I am a get candy. 
That's a lie. I was always a get candy. I'm just lying to Once this kid get to candy, make you behave. Get candy. <laughs> it's all, all, all the gift <laughs> candies always say to the get candies. Look, I used to, <laughs> I be, used a to be a get candy. candy. <laughs> a gift candy. Never I used to be a, a, a gift candy. Now I'm a get candy. They never were. They're fucking liars. <laughs> Did we just invent racism? <laughs> this is candy racism. This is like classism. Every, every so often, the human race will go and invent racism again. Oh. Uh, fuck, that's not what I thought you had I was to do wondering there. what you were supposed to do. I was waiting for like a green passageway to appear or something. I guess you have to jump. Oh wait, oh, no! Oh, Harry just fucking Oh! Yeah, there's no, there's no infinite pit to save you, you just die here. The fucking teachers aren't expecting you to be here. I they guess, build yeah. the, They didn't build the infinite uh, fucking library over the weird SCP pit. And then this is, this is the forbidden section, like, students aren't supposed to be here. <laughs> Wow, well, maybe a so gift candy just, like yeah. yourself can't be in here, but uh, let's get candies. We can, we can come and go as we please. Let's get candies in the forbidden section. There's a lot of playboys in there. I like to look at them. It's on the very like top shelf. A, libra a library, a forbidden library, be a like, surefire way to get kids to go to a library. That's what Not I'm saying. Why is this in a know. fucking school? And like why like if you even like like I said if the teachers need some of these books put them in a different like a full different room than the actual fucking library or I bet you these teachers can fucking like drive right just yeah, they drive have to the fucking library like isn't there a teachers lounge can they have the fuck? Can they put this shit in the teacher's lounge? <laughs> Nintendo. Nintendo. So oh, so now I can jump it. Do, do the teachers have to do this when they have to get a book? <laughs> oh, fuck. Nintendo. Now have to do the fucking <laughs> the, jump. The, the, the this camera fucking needs fucking everything jump. to be a goddamn <laughs> wipeout course. I need intro to potions. Why is it on the top oh, shelf? Right next to all the goddamn Playboy <laughs> magazines. Look at the look at the it's like, stupid camera is. Yeah, it's fucking weird. To be fair, you are like, walking directly into the corner. I can't fix it. Just just Oh. Maybe don't jump into the wall. Like that. I couldn't jump into the wall. I couldn't jump straight. Harry kept walking into the goddamn wall. Dumbledore comes into the library and then just like flawlessly parkours his it, no like flawlessly parkours <laughs> his way all the way up to the top shelf while like this teacher is struggling to like climb his way up. God you damn, can, like, Dumbledore was the greatest <laughs> wizard of Earth. You get a peek at his legs; they're just absolutely <laughs> fucking shredded. <laughs> Sorry, Mason. What were you saying? He's like. It's like an Assassin's Creed, like, speedrunner. Yeah. It's like fucking Ezio climbing up a wall in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Got fucking clocked by a book. Okay, so is it fixed? Like, can I just jump? I can't. I don't think you need that big of a running start. Oh, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> what the hell? Why did I... he grab it? I was running straight on, too. Cause you're holding that damned wand. These kids always on the damn did you, wands. Did you turn the Nintendo on? Did you try turning it on and off again? <laughs> did you try setting it to Wombo? <laughs> <laughs> I love how that was, wasn't that the fucking solution at the end of the episode. Is like, I have to set it to Wombo. Look, <laughs> turn the thing upside down. God, I love Spongebob so much. I should watch it. Early Spongebob is really good. <laughs> or maybe you had to be a kid watching it and then you experience it as an adult and you feel nostalgia. Oh, I mean, I've seen, 
I've seen like bits and stuff from the SpongeBob like old episodes, and it's like this is like my kind of humor. Tyler speaks very highly about Jimmy Neutron, but I can't stand the show. <laughs> I have tried to watch Jimmy Neutron a couple times, and I just kind of can't get through it. I remember watching the movie a lot as a kid. I remember violently disliking the Jimmy Neutron Fairly Odd Parents crossover. I fucking love that one. That one's awesome. That one's so cool. That was Jack, no, I, it, like, it, it, it was cool. I, I enjoy it, um, but it's just... I don't know. It, it, it seeing <laughs> it was really the <laughs> second was, part when everything was in the Jimmy Neutron oh, and, uh, animation. Yeah, like 3D Timmy. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not <laughs> right, and that's what I violently dislike. <laughs> Timmy, don't fuck up this big jump. Oh my uh, god, that's embarrassing. What makes well, it so hard is that I don't have control of the camera. I can't <laughs> change the way that it's facing, so it pivots. It's like got hairy so that even if I'm holding forward, he walks diagonally. Oh, you know, like, yeah, because the camera, the camera <coughs> affects like which way you have to turn the analog stick, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is Kingdom Hearts one level platforming. Is Fairly Odd Parents still going on? Because I'm pretty sure they just, they, Probably, they got yeah. rid of the baby and they added a dog. And, and they, also, there's a girl now? It got cancelled and then they restarted. And then they added in a character that everyone didn't like. I was then, trying to search up the show and I just I, I started <laughs> looking up Timmy Turner. Turner. Well, I like the how Timmy Turner like, show. You know. I like how there's like a, a canon, like a, a subset Chloe of the Carmichael group is, is just that a girl that also has the Cosmo same and very odd. <laughs> I think there's like a subset of the like people that love the show that are like, yeah, Timmy Turner had a massive schlong. <laughs> what? What? The fuck are you talking he, about? Because he never wished. Because they're like, well, Timmy Turner never wished for a bigger dick. For he would have had dick. to have. Timmy so Turner had to have had like a massive dick. Eleven years old. I know. Timmy Turner was trans once. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I missed the jump of your life. Oh, what the fuck? Mason, he made that. He didn't grab it. <laughs> what the fuck? He fucking yeah. like what? Are you, what else are you he supposed like, to do? Into it. Dude, the platform this gets rough. Why is it always Mason that has to deal with the platforming? Like Mason has to deal with platforming. I have to deal with fucking plants. <laughs> So Tyler has to deal with the boss fights that the rest of you, both of us don't want to do. It's one of the weird things happening in Fairly Odd Parents. Cosmo gave hell? birth, there was Mpreg in Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> um. Watching those shows, it's like, you, watching some of those shows, you're like, yeah, I, I can understand why some of these people turned out the way they did. Oh, um, the canonical reason Jimmy Turner, his teacher, is so obsessed with finding fairies is because he has brain damage. A crocker gave Timmy an A once so that he could come to his house to find fairies. And then, like, parent Timmy's parents were, like, complimenting how sexy Crocker was the whole episode. <laughs> crocker is a hot Timmy's parents don't exactly <laughs> love Timmy's parents so Timmy's much. dad wanted to fuck Crocker, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I, like, he was, I he was down Timmy's for a threesome. Dad. You're telling me there isn't a sexual tension between Timmy's dad and Dinkleberg? <laughs> <laughs> Dinkleberg. Timmy's dad. Well, you made that one. Now you gotta make the second one. <laughs> I love it. So <laughs> you gotta make episode. another one. I know, I know it's a meme. <laughs> but. <laughs> Holy it was shit, like, that was close. Thank um, God. And this is where I would put my trophy <laughs> if I had one. <laughs> my favorite is the. um. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no. Okay, what the fuck? And there's also uh, Timmy's dad saying to him, and like, oh, here's my little chest of hopes and dreams. And like, Timmy looks at it and he accidentally drops it and he breaks it. And he was like, oh no, dad, <laughs> I, I broke line. it. I broke it. And he's like, oh no, don't worry, Timmy. It was broken long, long ago. Oh, how long ago? How old are you again? 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the same episode as the a trophy one. Pasty. I think so. It's the one where they're in the attic. Yeah. Uh, There's uh, another one in there. there. That's for the next student. <laughs> The oh, those fucking are getting really lazy. are getting lazy, yeah. <laughs> Leaving fucking... <laughs> it's like one of those Halloween bowls. Please only take oh, one. Right. Second floor, reading room, past the library and into the annex, through portrait. Got it. <laughs> you got it. I meant you're a, you're a gift candy and you have to go through the forbidden section and <laughs> scale Fuck. shit. <laughs> You aren't allowed to get to do caught. this with a backpack, you aren't, dude. You aren't allowed to get caught going through there, but you will get in trouble if you don't place the candy in the forbidden section. <laughs> it's really important that the that the get candies get candy. <laughs> Look, the get candies parents made a huge donation to the school, and if they don't, if their kids don't get candy, they're gonna be mad. <laughs> Please have fun with rich parents. <laughs> So it's just like the fucking poor kids who are endangering themselves to put these <laughs> pieces of candy in these chests. Oh, yeah, you killed them, I guess. The game decided it was done with that. I don't even think uh, or you got them all the way. Like, ah, fuck this. This is boring, we're, we're, this is boring as shit. Boring. I don't want to see Bounce. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bounce. Spongify. Spotify. Nintendo <laughs> <laughs> definitely sounds like Nintendo when There's he says. Someone down here. What the fuck? The fuck? I'm fucking ghost in here. Spongify. Well, it doesn't help that Harry's fucking yelling at the top of his lungs. What am I? How am I supposed to do this? Uh, maybe you'd oh. go for the only opening in the banister. Tyler, believe it or not, I didn't see that. Harry, Harry. I need you to go. Harry, I need you to go on Spotify and listen to me new podcast about the mystery <laughs> in the Vales. <laughs> it's called Hermione Talks About Elves. This bad Damn stuff it. podcast. <laughs> That's the name. If many talks Ryan, about elves. You tell me about your Spotify podcast again. I'm putting stink pellets in your bed. All right, don't put stink pellets in my bed. Do you not care about the mistreatments of elves, all right? <laughs> Gotta explore before I like actually do the. You gotta explore every nook and cranny of the Harry Potter video game. Otherwise, you're not playing it right. Hundred percent bean run. <laughs> what the hell? Why? Why is this here? What was the? Now you're on the top. If you explored the rest of the game. <laughs> Did you hit that Nintendo sign? Nintendo. <laughs> you you didn't hit the Nintendo sign? No, because I figured it would oh, I figured it would like advance the story and I didn't want to do that. Or advance the like I don't know. I thought it would advance the room and I was like, you know it's what? A, you don't need to go back up there. You can just walk behind the shelf. Spongify! I absolutely do need to go up here. Oh, there's uh, chests. You have chests in, in, you fucking idiot. idiot. A pumpkin pasty. There's, <laughs> look, he, he wouldn't have gotten the pumpkin pasties. I was just remembering I, when Landon. Hermione was getting assaulted by a troll and Harry's opening up a chests. Pumpkin a pumpkin pasty. <laughs> Landon, if Harry didn't get these pumpkin pasties, then you, you we would have wasted a get or a give candy's whole afternoon of work. This is good. They would have had to go through anyways and put new pieces of candy in. Give candies or get candies don't don't like old old uh, <laughs> candy. They gotta have fresh shit. <laughs> so they have to go through, take old pieces of candy out, and then prove that they disposed of the candy. <laughs> but they can't have eaten it. No, no, they have to like bring it back to the professor and like throw it out in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, we're better at writing than JK Rowling. <laughs> well, fucking Wrench is better at writing than JK Rowling.
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wish this whole extended bit about getting new candies <laughs> was canon. But... <laughs> the third book went into this really weird tangent where for four chapters it just explained the logistics of the give and get candy yeah. system within Hogwarts. That's how fucking J.R.R. Tolkien writes. Yeah, that would be like a Tolkien thing. It'd be like, oh, like fucking like four thousand pages into a book, and it'll be like, just actually, I, I kind of want to talk about gnomes right now. So, sorry, We're, we'll get to the plot in like an hour. The plot won't make sense unless you understand every facet about gnome ideology. Look, if you don't know how gnomes reproduce and just Look, the extended knowledge of their reproductive systems, and if you can't and stuff, picture what this cake looks like from every single goddamn angle, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna tell you. It's just not the same. You're really missing out. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I can't. Uh, fuck, I wish I could remember what sci fi novel that is. There's a fucking guy is. down there. There's a fucking. <laughs> it's a that's, one of the, that's one of the fucking What's gift candies. He's like still in here refilling. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have to do it again. He's gonna have to refill all those fucking boxes. No, see, but he doesn't have any more candy, so he's gonna have to go to the professor empty-handed, and the professor's gonna think this. He's gonna think he ate it, dude. He's gonna think yeah. he ate all that candy. Oh, oh you don't want to know what happens fucked. to a gift candy when when the professor thinks they've eaten the candy. <laughs> they get thrown in one of those bottomless pits. And sometimes they don't come out. No, they get they get the fucking um like Taliban this? treatment. They get their hands cut off. I thought I had to. Okay, I could literally just jump up here. Okay. That's he spent the best like twenty minutes doing is doing this. Oh, is there a book? There's a book up there. Oh, I guess there's also a you chair. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say this is this is fucking sci-fi writer. I, I wish I could remember his name, but like, in the middle of his book, he just stops the whole story completely and starts explaining the circuitry of <laughs> one of the one of like the machines in like his book. I'm telling you, this isn't. We're not too far off. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I I, I, I kind of love that though. Just un way too unnecessary detail. A pumpkin pasty. I'm going to write the ninth Harry Potter book. He's back <laughs> in like, school, baby. Stephen King's unnecessary detail is like different because he'll. And just... that's a like cocaine detail. That's that's he's had too much coke and he's really fixated on something. I'm thinking about something he should not be fixated on. I'm thinking about in it where he spends like three pages from the perspective of the flight <laughs> attendant who is thinking one of the passengers on this plane died and she's like preparing for like having to deal with like the repercussions of a dead passenger. Um but it, it but then it cuts to the guy who she thought was dead is is one of the main characters who is just sleeping. <laughs> And I'm like, Steven, <laughs> why did we spend three three whole pages on this fucking character who we'll never see again? Like, can we just cut to the guy who's sleeping, who is our main character? Those fucking bookshelves did not want you in there. For sure, I opened those bookshelves. I'm like glossing over the child or is she in it. Um, as you should. <laughs> I was more upset about like the unnecessary detail where he just cuts to other people's perspective just to <clears throat> say like we were looking at the main characters while their story was happening. You know what's more interesting? The main characters while the story <laughs> was happening. If the we're going to happening, that's what's If we're going to revisit this character that you're introducing, cool. But if he's just here to just comment on the fact that he saw the story <laughs> happen. There's someone down here. It's a fucking cat. It's Filch's cat. Is Filch. Around here? That is Filch. <laughs> he's a cat. <laughs> oh, it's another cat. It it's McGonagall. 
just making sure all the, all the fucking get give candies are doing their job right. No, she's on her way to have a date with Filch's cat. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That was really close. I didn't even that, I didn't see that guy there. That was horrifying. I also didn't see that guy there. <laughs> You're still invisible. What? What bit of at midnight, he called thirsty. Tut, tut, tut. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught in. What's that you got here, Potter? Why did he take the cloak off? Please, please. <laughs> yeah, why did he wear it bed? <laughs> Give it here. It doesn't belong to you. Oh, fuck you, peeves. Yeah, I guess we're done. Down. It's just right there. <laughs> oh my god, I would. I would. Uh, I'm surprised more Hogwarts students are just so depressed with the amount of shit they have to deal with at the school. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like dickhead ghost. Why did he wait for the stairs? He's being polite for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is not really as much fun to get chased if Harry can't chase you. No, the, the, he wasn't waiting for the stairs, he just... Like, not to repeat the <laughs> joke from the last video, but could you imagine like a group of paintings gossiping about you. <laughs> the and suicide like, rate at Hogwarts has to be astronomical. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And like, but just the magical general. options to kill yourself. <clears throat> like, like a third year spell is learning to blow things up. You're telling me oh, that, that like. <gasps> Oh, it's because he's let him here. Mom! <laughs> Dad! So, hey, it's me. You. What, why is, why are they both white people smiling? I've discovered <laughs> the uh, They have no idea who this is. I didn't know it's called that, sir. <laughs> yeah, last time they saw Harry, he was a fucking baby. <laughs> it, well, it shows me my family. Let me give you a clue. The happiest man on earth would look into the mirror and see only himself exactly as he is. It cuts is. to what Dumbledore is so seeing and it's just it like Jude Law giving us what a we want. job. Whatever we want. Yes and no. <laughs> and he's like, I it see me holding a nice <laughs> pair of socks. <laughs> and the desperate desires of our hearts. You, Harry. But the, 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 you then have the only other thing that's Harry. changed other than Jude Lai giving him you a blowjob is he's a rocking <laughs> six pack. He has two deep this desires desire equally. He wants to be fucking ripped and he wants to be blown by Jude Law once again. Have wasted <laughs> once again. So he's, he's been Jude blown Law. before by Jude Law. That is why tomorrow it will be moved to a new Wait, home. Doesn't Jude Law play like Gringold no, Rob or whatever? Hospital. His Not fucking, like, boyfriend in that one movie. <laughs> 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 Fuck, I didn't watch those movies. I just know vague facts about them. Isn't Dumbledore, like, gay um, in that movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. Lies he, he is, he is in, like, he is in Secrets of uh, Dumbledore. Now, why don't you get off to bed? <laughs> Jude Law. Oh, no. Um, Jude Law. <laughs> Jude Law is Dumbledore in those movies. <laughs> oh, shit, you're a vampire. He gets sucked off by Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> does does Dumbledore take the cloak and the or and Johnny the Depp? The yeah, did Dumbledore just take your. Oh, it might be Johnny Depp. Actually, I think you're right with Johnny no, Depp. It's it's Johnny Depp plays him in like the first movie or whatever, and then he gets fired, uh, and then he gets replaced by Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> uh, Mads Mikkelsen, but I only know he plays. Like I said, Hannibal Lecter in the oh, Hannibal thought, TV shit show. I thought you were talking about Anthony Hopkins, Hannibal Lecter. That's obviously no, the first person sorry. one would think of. Yeah, yeah, what I said, Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. Lecter. I'm like, what the fuck? Did he, like, age? What the fuck? Oh, no, honestly, though, I, I, I think I Mads McKelson okay. is such a handsome man. Oh, he's incredible. Well I've done, never seen him in anything bad. That is indeed the correct and like, in 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 the Hannibal show, it's undeniable that he has a, a homosexual relationship with <laughs> with the detective. 
Like they they are in love with each other. I'm really flipping tired. I bet you are too. <laughs> Sorry, speaking of people in love good with each other. Bro. What? <laughs> Tyler, I saw a post on Tumblr uh talking about uh fuck. Uh, Dis Disco Elysium. <laughs> right. Um, because a bunch of posts on Tumblr are just talking about the main character being in I love with Kim Kitsuraga and like you. wanting to have sex Check with him. Right. So people have picked up the game, you know, about like a post-Soviet <laughs> fucking <laughs> nation. <laughs> <laughs> thinking it's like the story about I'm two men anything. falling in love with each other <laughs> and it's about a fucking like autopsy video, I'm sure I've read Flamel's name somewhere <laughs> Oh god, here it comes Cause there's like that one storyline where you can I think Kim admits he's it's like gay or something if you, if you like pursue one Let's thought tree it. entirely. Okay, or you Disco get... Elysium spoilers, how about? It's a broomstick. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. <laughs> Sorry, it's we can edit this out. <laughs> but who? Oh, oh, I am. You're Tyler, talking I think you're all fine again. <laughs> You'll be able to fly anywhere around the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to fly again. Get to fly again. Oh, yeah, when it's Tyler's turn. I'm going to have to find a plant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tyler has to fly and do boss fights. Landon has to find plants, and I have to sneak around the school. Sorry, I'll.